According to Newton's theory of gravity, the escape velocity from a heavy object's surface depends on its mass and radius. If this escape velocity exceeds the speed of light, light itself cannot escape, leading to the concept of a black hole. Early ideas by Mitchell and Laplace hinted at such objects, but a full understanding requires Einstein's theory of general relativity. Einstein's equations have radially symmetric solutions called Schwarzschild solutions, describing black holes. These have an apparent singularity at radius r equals 2m, which is a coordinate artifact. Using kruskal shecker as coordinates removes this singularity and reveals the horizon structure, including the future and past horizons, representing boundaries light cannot cross outward. The Chandrasekhar limit defines the maximum mass, about 1.44 solar masses, for stable stars supported by electron pressure. Above this mass no stable configuration exists, and the star collapses under gravity, eventually forming a black hole. Gravitational collapse can be modeled as dust shells contracting at the speed of light, creating a black hole whose mass increases with each shell. The Schwarzschild metric applies both inside and outside the shell matched at the shell boundary. The horizon forms, delineating the black hole region where even light cannot escape. The Riesner Nordstrom solution describes charged black holes by combining Einstein's equations with Maxwell's equations in curved spacetime. The metric depends on mass and electric charge, generating a static electric field outside the charged body, extending the family of black hole solutions to include those with charge.